Hey guys, today I want to show you how to copy a whole code base to ChatGPT. So this is a repository that I just pulled from GitHub. It's a front-end app um, of a Hewlett clone, and it consists in a number of files, as you can see. Um, some of them are JavaScript, some of them are CSS. There's also other configuration files, and the app only works because all of these files and the code that they contain works together. And this becomes a problem if you want to pass all this information to an LLM like ChatGPT, because um, you know the usual like copy pasting function only covers one file, and if we we could then start like collecting the contents of different files in one master file. But this would have, this is like a lot of work and it also has the disadvantage that you need to keep track of changes in the repository and transfer them to the master file. And this is quite an impractical way to um, store or like to log that information. And this is where the describe command comes in. It basically does this work for you. You can enter, as you can see, describe and then a list of file endings. In this case, I entered JS and CSS. And it copies the output of the command to clipboard. And now, for demonstration purposes, I copied it here into this file. And as you can see, it consists in the file paths that it, of the files it found, um, and then the file contents. And then you have one string that you can pass to ChatGPT. OK, so um, I have to admit, I don't actually use ChatGPT very much. Instead, I use Claude. Um, which is basically the same functionality, um, but I kind of like the style of responses a little bit better. And the way I use it is that after executing um, describe, I then paste the contents that I that it saved to my clipboard, and then I just ask for some change to the code base that I want, or I ask some question that I have about the code base. Um, basically, there are no limits to what you can come up with. In this case, I'm just going to ask it to do a reformatting, which would require some changes to both um, CSS files and JavaScript, and see how it does. And I think, so the key difference between this approach and things like Ada or um, cursor is that you, you do have to do more manual work. Like you have to paste over the results from here into the um, IDE. But this also enables like a higher level of control, and I just find the flow works better for me a lot of the time because I keep more track of like what changes it actually makes, and I get to kind of understand the logic and the architecture better than if I just blindly rely on. AI implementation. Okay, so here's the project page for Describe. It's on GitHub. It's MIT licensed. It's largely written in Rust. And um, it's distributed through Cargo. So Cargo is a package manager similar to pip for Python or npm for JavaScript. And um, you have to have it installed, and then you can just enter cargo install describe, and then you will have it installed with all its dependencies on your system, and then you can use it the way I showed you. There's also a bunch of options that we haven't discussed. Once you have it installed, I will look through those. Maybe there's some use case that it covers where you can make use of them. Um, yeah, that's it. Please like and subscribe. Star the repo if you have a GitHub account, and See you later.